Hey my friends, welcome to today's ab workout. We're gonna do three exercises for 30 seconds, three times through. So I have my phone here as my timer. Let's hit it. So we'll start on your back with these kind of swimmer crunches where you're gonna take your hands over your head and just interlace them, except the index finger and the thumb, then you're gonna kind of caress your head into it. See how I pick my hips up to tuck my tailbone under so my low back is flat on the floor. Okay, from there, you're gonna crunch up and down. 30 seconds on the clock, let's hit it. Exhale as you go up, two, exhale. Exhale, yes. Five seconds. Next up, bicycle crunches. Hands behind your head, cycle your legs, and crunch opposite shoulder, opposite knee. Shoulder blades stay lifted off of the floor. Your back stays flat. And the leg that goes straight, it's still active. You're still squeezing into the thigh, squeezing into the glute. Yes, 10 more seconds. Opposite shoulder, opposite knee. Really lift that shoulder blade. Three, two, one, forearm plank. Come on over, interlace your hands, elbows shoulder width apart, you're on your toes, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core, your thighs, everything. It's like a full body contraction, okay? So make sure you're in this, your mind is in it, and you're breathing. Don't hold your breath either. Three, two, one, okay, back at the start. No rest in between. Really try to push yourself to the limit. Three, two, one, begin. These are almost little micro crunches, but they really kill. Think of your ribs knitting down and together. Fight for that contraction, okay? Whoo, feeling the burn. Oops, let go of that for a second. Make sure your hands are behind your head. Five, four, three, two, one. Bicycle crunch. Opposite shoulder, opposite knee. Let's go. Woo. Come on, we're not going to give up on each other here. This is the work. It's really a mindset exercise too. You can do it. Sometimes your body wants to quit. Before, or your mind wants to quit before your body. You're strong enough. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, forearm plank round two. These are one of my favorites. It's so functional. We need this strong body. You see how not in like this regular, this neutral plank. This is better. You're protracting your shoulders. You're tucking your tailbone under. This is like that pencil hollow like body that really helps us if we want to do inversions like headstand or handstand. It really helps us with that strength. Okay, one more round. One and a half more minutes of work. Don't give up on me now. Come on, let's go. Three, two, one, begin. Crunch, crunch. Little pulses, ribs, two hips. It's the last time you're here, so let's just do it. Over halfway. Push, push. Whoo! Come on with me for five, four, three, two, one. Bicycles, opposite shoulder, opposite knee. Cross your body. Let's go, let's go. Fifteen seconds. Whew. Yes, this is fire. Fire in my core right now. Use that energy to keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Last time on the forearm plank, guys. Begin. Thirty seconds, and you're done. You can do anything. Anything you set your mind to. Yes. 
come on. Squeeze a little more, make sure your shoulders are over your elbows or even a little further. You can even be like on your tippy toes, pushing yourself forward. Push the shoulder blades apart. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop down. Maybe do a big cobra with me. Stretch out your core. Also eat side to side because your core deserves it. You guys, thanks for doing this workout with me. It's quick, but it works. The work works. So anytime you need a good ab workout, come back to this one and do it over and over again because consistency is what breeds results. I'll see you next time. Let's flourish, flow, and get fit.